Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm here at Discovery Park, which is a park in Seattle, Washington. It's one of the biggest parks in Seattle, and it's a really nice place to come paint when the weather's nice. So right now I've selected a location that has a nice view of the mountains and the water, and it's right next to a tree, so there's a little bit of shade. Shade is really important when you're painting on a tablet because there's going to be a lot of glare just due to the nature of the screen being reflective. I've got my hat to keep the sun out of my eyes, and I've got my huge hiking pack here with all of my gear in it. So first of all, let's just take a look at the location that I've chosen. I picked a nice shady spot here underneath a tree, so there's a little bit of shade and it gives me enough time even if the sun moves to not have the sun blasting me all the time. And again, it's really important not only for your own comfort to not be in the sun, but it's also a lot easier while you're painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up right in that shady spot there, and then I'll go ahead and show you what I've brought with me as far as gear. All right, so I've staked my claim over here next to the tree. I'm going to go ahead and start unpacking my gear now. I have this hiking pack. It's meant for hiking or camping, and it makes it really easy to bring everything I need with me while I'm doing my paintings outside. So first of all, I have my travel easel. This is meant for watercolor painting but it works really well to hold a tablet as well. So this is just a little pouch that it comes in. This is a nice telescoping easel, meaning it's kind of like a tripod. So you can very easily just fold it up, take it out. So it's got the three legs here. And I'm gonna pick a spot to set it up over here in the shade. And this easel is adjustable, meaning that I can position this higher or lower if I want to. So I'm just going to put the brackets right here. I want it to be pretty much eye level with me. And then I have my Cintiq Companion 2, which is the tablet that I use. And it is a drawing tablet and a computer all in one. Maybe I'll raise it up just a bit here so it's more level with my eyes also bring it forwards or backwards if I want to. So I've got my tablet set up there, and you're probably wondering what this thing is. It's a little binder clip that I use to hold my keyboard. So it's nice to be able to have a keyboard too. This is a wireless Bluetooth keyboard. So I just clip it on like that. And then as far as the other gear that I brought with me, I've got some dried apricots here other snacks, I have a water bottle, and anything else I need like miscellaneous cables and stuff like that. I also bring my camera gear with me, but I can't show that to you because I'm recording. So I'll go ahead and turn on the Cinti Companion. I'm going to go ahead and launch Corel Painter 2016, which is the application that I like to paint with. I'm going to go ahead and create a new canvas. Now, the canvas size that you choose it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever size canvas you want. It's probably better to work kind of on the smaller side because honestly, when you're painting outside, you're not gonna have a whole lot of time due to battery life, weather, time of day, uh, how much time you have to even go out and paint at all. So you wanna keep that in mind that this is gonna have to be kind of a short painting. You could start it here and then finish it in the studio, but it's up to you whether or not you wanna try to do it all at once. I recommend taking maybe 30 minutes to three hours to do your painting and not much more than that. So I'm going to create a canvas that's 1920 by 1080 just because that works really well for recording. I like to record my paintings while I'm painting them. And I'll just position my canvas where I can see it. And then what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and create a sketch first using the detail oils. But I know I'm going to have some land in the foreground here going to be kind of a tree off to the side here. There's a big tree off in the distance. And there's some mountains and some hills kind of in front of that. You just want just the basic sketch. That way you have everything kind of planned out and then you can go in and do all your painting.
So there you go, that's a quick demo of my setup for painting outside and how to get started doing it. If you're interested in learning more about painting outside, check out my series called Digital Painting Outdoors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.